Hey guys, Brandon here with Exotic Diecast, bringing you guys another review. This time I'm really excited to bring you guys a review on the 2017 Ford GT made by Maisto. Uh, I have two of them here, two different ones. This is the silver with the gray stripes and obviously the blue, no stripes. They also make, from what I know, a yellow with no stripes. Uh, and that's, from what I know, all the three that they make. Um, you'll be able to find this on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description to where you guys can uh, check them out. Because uh, on Amazon they have all of the, the range. You can find the yellow one there as well as the blue and silver. And hopefully down the road we'll see some other ones uh, come up. So yeah, link in the de description to where you guys could check some, uh, some of these out. Uh, for the purpose of this review, I'm probably going to pick uh, the silver one. <laughs> Why not? Uh, just to kind of show you guys around. We'll keep this one in the background though. Um, so yeah, I got this one not too long ago. This is the first one I got, and I was actually pretty impressed with its detail for the price. Uh, hopefully the close-ups will do this justice, as I always say, because video uh, versus when you see it in person is a little different. Starting from the front, though, the uh, detail on the Ford badge pretty good. The stripes are really nice, and the paint's really nice. This metallic uh, silver, nice and flaky, very realistic. Carbon fiber, if you guys can hear that, it's kind of textured. It's kind of a, a rough feeling, but it looks really realistic. The uh, carbon fiber lines up right in the middle there, so very, very nice detail. Um, headlight detail actually shocked me a little bit. It's actually very good. It's not bad at all. In fact, why not? Let's just have these two next to each other here, because uh, I think the silver and the blue look very, very good together. Anyway, yeah, headlight detail looks fantastic. Um, as far as opening parts, uh, we could just do that. Get that out of the way with this blue one here. Uh, in the front we have this very small front trunk, the uh, rear glass compartment here, and then the doors. So we could open the doors upwards, realistically. And the uh, door quality actually feels pretty good opening it up. Um, yeah, not bad at all. There we are. So that's all the opening parts. The wing does not move, unfortunately. I got asked that before on the Instagram. But it, yeah, they do not move. The wing does not uh, but anyway, that doesn't bother me too much. That would have been a cool feature though, but for the price, you know, you can't really pick and choose too much. Uh, side profile of the 2017 Ford GT, I just think is very, very nice. Uh, looks almost like a Le Mans prototype car or something. Uh, very, very good looking. We'll just go ahead and I guess I'm using both of them for this. <laughs> but, um, there we go. Yeah, side profile looks very nice again with the carbon fiber going all the way through here. And then this huge hole right here. Uh, for aerodynamics on the real car. They mimic that very, very nicely. The wheels are nice, uh, you know, not too bad. The only thing is the brake disc and caliper aren't too realistic. The brake disc does not move through the caliper. They're actually just one piece. Uh, yeah, these are the silver wheels and then these are the black wheels, both of which look very nice with a kind of bronze look to the brake caliper. Very good looking. Looking at the back of them both now, Back detail, I expected not to be so great, kind of like with the rest of the car, but it's actually very, very nice. Uh, center exhaust here, I especially like on the silver one uh, and on the real one with the stripes because the two stripes look like they're leading down to the exhaust. I think that looks great. Uh, but yeah, very realistic. The red lamp right here is kind of the clear plastic. The diffuser is very cool. Just a lot of aerodynamics going here. Uh, and again, with the carbon fiber uh, look to it throughout. So yeah, very, very nice. Uh, let's talk about the interior here. Let's open the, uh, the door on the blue one. Yeah, looking at the interior, it's half decent. It's not too bad. When you do open the door, there's a lot of the carbon fiber throughout here, which I think is pretty cool, and right underneath, if you could hear. Very cool. Uh, yeah, flat top and bottom steering wheel looks very cool. A lot of, like, just carbon fiber throughout the interior on the doors and everything. Very realistic. And then the gauges, you can kind of see, like, the rev counter up there and just carbon fiber throughout the dash and everywhere. Uh, and Maisto is getting very, very good at mimicking the carbon fiber look. So that's very cool. Um, anyway, so that's the interior. Hopefully you'll see that on the close-ups. And then just the last thing here, we just open up the back. And then again with the carbon fiber, the EcoBoost six cylinder throughout here. Uh, not the most amount of detail, but I think on the real car, there's not really a whole lot to uh, go off of anyway. But uh, yeah, for what's there, it's not too bad at all. And the quality overall, is just very nice. Nothing feels too flimsy besides sometimes the doors that are not breaking so far and I've opened them a couple times and the doors feel pretty good and then they just snap right in. So yeah, overall the car is going to be a sit and display model 
but um, the quality, if you do pick it up and start opening things, it's not bad at all. So hopefully let's just uh, get these in frame here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, pretty quick review. Again, I will have the link, uh, links to buy them on the uh, in the description, so you guys can check them out on Amazon. And like I said, hopefully they'll start making some more. Silver Gray is, I think, my favorite. Uh, obviously, you can't go wrong with the blue that they debuted the car in. And then yellow should be pretty cool, but uh, it would be really cool with stripes. But hopefully, they'll uh, come out with some other cars. And uh, hopefully, this uh, video kind of, uh, you know, showed you enough close-ups because I knew some people were, were wondering if, if it was right for them or if they didn't think it was going to be the right quality. I think it's worth it. I uh, hope you guys do too. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day.